just the, the game that's got, had to be won in the trenches. And we talked about trying to play a determined 40 minutes. And uh, we had to do that to beat a good Alabama team. And we, we, uh, they really guarded us. We couldn't score. Uh, but we guarded them also. And, um, and that certainly uh, was a difference in the game. Our defensive rebounding allowed us to win. Mark, how big was Marcus's defensive play these last two games with the block shots, defensive rebounds? Marcus Thornton, as much as he's been through with three surgeries, he deserves success, and we don't win without him. I think he was underappreciated um, before with his defense and rebounding, and I think today you see how valuable he is because he was, he was a significant part of this win. How about uh, Kenny G getting, uh, getting unleashed there for a while, three-pointers? Yeah, you know, he got hot in the first half and, and, uh, and really, you know, shot the ball in well. It took us a minute to solve their zone, uh, but uh, once he got in the groove, it was good to see him, you know, shoot it like we know he can, and that was big for us. It allowed us to build a lead. And, uh, and then I think he, as, you know, as just a sophomore, I think he thought he could get, you know, 40 to took some shots in the second half where we need to put the reins on him a little bit, but he needs that experience, and it was great to see him have some success. Mark, just talk about following up the win on Wednesday with a victory today and just how important that aspect of it was. When we talked about that with our team, that you know, we could throw away Wednesday if we came out here today and laid an egg. And, um, and so we talked about that, and um, I was really proud that we backed up Wednesday's win with another one. And, um, and it, was, it was, we had a great crowd. And our crowd with five minutes to go in a the game, they're making a run, and our crowd lifted us up. You know, our crowd lifted us up, and uh, we, we really appreciate that. How would you feel about the, the way you played down the stretch? Obviously, they were trying to get you to put you on the line and stop the clock, and you didn't. You made enough, but uh, not as many. You I know, guess. Um, we didn't make them all at the line. You know, it, I don't know. The last four minutes might have been all free throws. You know, it might have been all free throws. I mean, I'd have to look at what our percentage was there. Um, you know, I think that we had timeouts if we needed them. Um, we made a couple of young plays. That's the first team that's really pressed us like that, and. Uh, you know, Brandon made a play. They jumped the pass, and nobody was there. And then Landon traveled, and, and Charles turned an ankle and fell over and traveled. But, you know, we, we handled it okay. Not perfect, but good experience for us. Who's been your biggest leader on offense this year? Well, Charles Mann has been, as a point guard, given us very good leadership during the game. Uh, Nemi and, and, uh, and Marcus, as upperclassmen, have, have given us leadership that we probably haven't had for, for, uh, for a couple of years. Mark, to, to win uh, a game like this when you don't shoot as well as you guys would like, I mean, what does it say about uh, you know kind of a gritty tech one like this? Well, um, Mark, I, I think that I've been very critical, privately and publicly, of our defense and rebounding, and tonight it was really good, and they deserve credit for digging in and doing the dirty work. Um, you need to be able to win when you don't shoot it well. I didn't think we played with very good. Uh, with very much maturity offensively. I think we took a lot of early shots that we could have turned down, especially to start the second half. Uh, but it's rewarding to see that we've made progress in those other areas. And yeah, what do you think of the rebounding today? You, you had the edge for most of the game. Do you think that was a big key? Well, we didn't early. We evened it by the half, and then we won it in the second half. And I thought that certainly was a big part of it. How important was Corral and Relaford today? Obviously, he came in a huge score. Well, he's a, he's a, I don't know what he ended up with. They probably got his average because he was good in the second half. You know, we did a nice job in the first half. It's one of the reasons we were ahead. Um, he, he's a terrific player. And, um, um, you know, a guy like that that's having a year like he's having, you're, you're not going to shut him down. You just, you only hope just to contain a little bit. I think we only went one under his average, you know. Um, but we forced him to work for it. So, um, you know, he's going to have a lot of really good nights. And, and we're fortunate tonight that he didn't, didn't um, you know, make a few more. Is that man on him most of the time? Uh, Charles did a, a, a lot of work on him. We had a little bit of Brandon Moore, so we did some switching there late. Uh, so a lot of guys chipped in, but most of it was Charles. Hey, talk about your perimeter defense. What was the real focus out there as you were guarding uh, out, well, out you know, of Alabama, I mean, Anthony's done a great job with their team. I mean, they, they've got a really good team, and, and um, they're athletic, they're fast. I mean, they've built like defensive backs. I mean, they, they, they're, a, they're a good uh, you know, perimeter group. And uh, really, you know, for us, we wanted to, you know, try and slow their transition game some, and uh, and that I thought was in, was really important. Time for one more question. Two and O is the Georgia basketball's best ACC start in a while. So what's going on in that locker room that's kind of moving momentum here? You know, um, I don't know when the last time we were two and O. I don't don't know really. Not to say I don't care, but um, what's important is the, the next game that we continue to grow as competitors and that we grow.
grow as a team and that we go down there and give ourselves a chance to win in Gainesville. And uh, we've made progress um, and uh, we've learned through adversity. This is the first time I thought we've handled success fairly well. Uh, but now we got to keep moving forward and keep trying to get better because we can really improve as a team.